Turning your Bible to the book of John, chapter 5. We're going through the book of John right now as, as our family devotions. And I came across this verse the other day and I thought, wow, that's really significant. John chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he, was, he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, look at this, making himself equal with God. You see, there's all this debate right now. Oh, is Jesus, you know, the father? Is he, you know, you know he's clearly the son of God, but is he also equal to the father? You know, what's going on here? Well, see, back there in the first century, there was no confusion over this. That's why they were continually trying to kill Jesus, because he's saying, you know, he's saying, I'm the Son of God, and, and I'm the Lord. And, you know, the, the Jews at the time were saying, then you're saying that you're God the Father. I mean, that's, that's why they were getting upset at him, you know. Turn over to John chapter 8. I'll show you. So this is, this is heretical and thing. Deal with the Scriptures. John chapter 8, verse 19. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Hmm. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? What, because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. What's the context there? What's, he's talking, what's he talking about? He's talk, they're saying, Where's the Father? And Jesus is saying, If you had known me, you'd known my Father. And he says then later on here in verse 24, if ye believe not that I am he, who's he talking about? He's talking about the Father. Ye shall die in your sins. And one of the clearest verses out there, John chapter 10, verse 30, Jesus says here, I and my Father are one. One. And people that believe in the Trinity, they'll have to say, well, that's one in essence. One. They have to add to the Scriptures to make it work. Those of us that believe the biblical Godhead, we just look at it and we go, well, Jesus and the Father are one. They're the same being. Nowhere in Scripture does it say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Nowhere does it say that three persons, they're not separate. They're one being. Jesus is the body. The Father is the soul. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit. It's quite simple. But I just find it interesting that there are so many clear Scriptures that teach the biblical Godhead, and yet people hold to this pagan trinity concept. It just is so weird to me. And because back there in the first century, there was no argument. There wasn't anything there. I mean, they, the, the Jews were upset at him because he's saying that he's equal to the Father. So, if you have a problem with the biblical Godhead, uh, your problem is with this book. Not with me or any other, but any other person, any other Christian that... Uh, teaches against this Catholic Trinity thing. So, uh, that is going to be it. I pray that uh, you really think about this. If you believe in the Godhead, but you're still using Trinity-type terms, like I have done in my past, uh, you need to drop this Trinity stuff. Uh, it's not God in three persons. There's no scripture for that. It's not God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father, sure, there's scripture for that, but nowhere is Jesus called God the Son. Nowhere is the Holy Ghost called God the Spirit. It's not there. Um, it's just the way it is. Make sure your speech lines up with the book.